Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Boom. Do you remember what it is, man? Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Follow me on IG, Vada underscore fly. Tell your mama I said hi. We will be recapping a lot of the events that's going on this weekend. Showtime SP will be back in the building. He's excited. Well, 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 we will make sure we have the L. It's like three different joints coming on this weekend. It's the Rare Breed. It's the Chrome 23. Then it's the URL. Oh, event, 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 event. It's going to be a lot of battle rap going on. It's a lot of good battles. And um, we'll definitely be watching. But yo... Jag, 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 you know, it's good to see uh, that even in all of the negativity that people are throwing out there, and, you know, everybody's got their own opinion, ARP's got his, bloggers got theirs, whoop de whoop but everybody's gonna watch, like, they're gonna watch, they're gonna see, they're gonna comment, they're gonna feel how they feel. Well, it's starting to come out now, I got a video today of Jag, you know, of where he could have allegedly, this is allegedly had going on. You know, he said uh, he had an opportunity to do something that was bigger, to make more of a bag. And it seems to me, from the video that I, that I will show you guys in a couple seconds, that it's in the music industry. The music industry is his first love. Uh, the music industry is where he came from. He's been trying to get on as an artist for a minute. He does very good music. You can, I can never take that away from him. He could rap on beats. Jag does his thing. Freestyle and all of that. So, the video pops up with none other than one of the GOATS! Best rapper alive since the best rapper retired. Swagger right? Y'all know the man Lil Wayne himself. Yes, yes, you know for years and years. Once you heard that lighter flick, it was up. Uh, Lil Wayne is legendary. We already know many things that he's done. He's helped, also helped build a lot of careers like the Drakes, like the Nicki Minaj's, like Ty. There was a lot of people that Drake, you know what I'm saying, helped or was a part of, you know what I'm saying, their careers coming up. You know, everybody's got to build their own career per se, but Drake was definitely influential. Um, you know, Wayne was influential in making Drake. Wayne was definitely influential in making Nicki. And these guys are some of the biggest artists in the world now. And Wayne always had a lot of humility in himself because he could see past his own success for his artists to get big. You know what I'm saying? A lot of his artists did amazing. Um, Jay Mills was even with Young Money at one time. But uh, here's the deal. So Jag gets an opportunity to rap in front of Lil Wayne. You know what I'm saying? He's rapping on beats. It seems kind of like a show type deal. Maybe Lil Wayne is running around looking for like new artists and things like that to put on. It, it seems, check this out. Wait, you know, it's gotta be time. Every time I drop a song, it feel like lottery time. I can stress to grab a blunt and then it's pottery time. There's no exceptions while I'm from them niggas gotta be slob. It's real. Listen, the things know me as the homie with the flow. I'm not impressed with the bottles, got to show me with the flow. Niggas think I got the hair and stop falling, nigga, please. I've been walking around feeling like I'm Kobe with the throw. Niggas don't know it. Niggas trying to feed you now. Didn't want you, bet they wouldn't leave you now. Haters coming up like, still, we believe you now. You been snapping like the ankles in the league. You nail facts. I saw the pound in the tape. That's what you call the line. Down to no effect. I make all these bitches fall in line. I draw on you. If you draw it, then I draw the line. Me and my bitch, I keep the meaning with me all the time. Them late nights, I kept the thing in the drawer. Cleaning up on the block while mama cleaning the floor. Damn. And I swear I never did it for no recognition. It's all restitution. This game is the exhibition. I'm in the business, like I'm trying to get the next edition. See these chains, I thought we had it with the exposition. Huh? <laughs> So I felt like it was 
parts of Jags flow where he got off. That Tyron Lulu. Oh, she stick around long as she can. <laughs> Call it Tyron Lulu. That was the craziest bar the whole joint. Like that got everybody's attention and got him robbed. But there's cameras around and it's being filmed. So it seems to me kind of like it's a show. Like it's maybe a show. And they would kept saying Zilla, Zilla, Zilla. They weren't even calling him Jack. So I don't know if it's a show or if he's trying to get a part or if he's participating in something. But he probably didn't say anything because a lot of these type of uh, ventures have NDAs, you know what I'm saying, non-disclosures. But I mean, Jag said he was on Max Out 3 when ARP didn't want him to say that, so I don't know. But uh, he was probably waiting to announce anything because an uh, opportunity will wane regardless of what anybody may say is a big deal. And, you know, um, since this video came out, you know, it's on Twitter and things like that, it started making its rounds, and I just started reading what some of the people were saying because I was thinking, like, okay, even though he had a battle with ARP, does a chance to get with Wayne or even get into cahoots or even into good graces or even Wayne know who you are and what you could do talent wise is that bigger you know what I'm saying like would you be like nah I'm not would you skip a secret battle for opportunity with Wayne you know what I'm saying and then some people are saying that Jag had said something Jag said he said something like five days in advance or whatever the case may be but you know different leagues are going to ha handle things differently and when Jag has had not a history, but he's starting to trend in that direction because he did cancel this one. He canceled the King of the Dot joint. Once you start doing it more than once in a short period of time, it starts to become a trend to people. But being able to get his bars off with Wayne, that's a, that really could be a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. You may never get that chance to do something like that again. So a lot of people were saying, yo, pff, what, what, what they would do, you know what I mean? And I'll tell you more so what I would do at the end of this, you know what I'm saying? Or at the end of it, I read some of these comments. So, uh, my man said, uh, and Easy to Block Captain had commented on it too, he said it was a dope opportunity, but it's still, you gotta still do things right, you know what I'm saying? You still gotta handle your business the right way. So, uh, Wayne 3D says, I definitely would have canceled a secret battle for that. Nona Mason says, wasn't crazy in my opinion, but shout out to Jag, who wouldn't want to rap for Wayne. And Derez, shout out to Derez. He's actually the one who made this um, intro, says. Um, the I feel like, yeah, that's him. He says, good for Jag. I'll miss my own birthday to do some shit like that. <laughs> Yo, you crazy, dog. I would miss my own birthday to do some shit like this. Then Grand Marquis says, rapping in front of Wayne or battling in front of ARP. I'll take rapping in front of the GOAT for 200 Alex. So that uh, somebody else said, nigga Spaz. Jag out here rapping for the GOAT. And then... um. Another dude named Wolf says, if this is why Jag couldn't do the arts battle respect, this is a good look. Getting validated with Wayne is way bigger look than a battle, especially when Jag said ARP was pretty much paying him chump change for the battle. Um, you know, so people are down, split down the line. Like, if they had an opportunity, they're going to take the opportunity. They're not going to sit there and, and, and don't take the chance to rap for somebody like Wayne. Um, I think I probably would have tried to work it out with ARP, but that opportunity is, is crazy, you know what I'm saying? And, and to get that opportunity, it is what it is. You, you really may never get a chance like that again. But it did it have to be the same? You probably would try to have to work it out with the folks doing the production. Like, yo, does it have to be today? Does it have to be now? But a lot of them shows, if it's a show, they'd be one of the people there like a day before. They want them to get a COVID test. You know what I mean? It'd be mad shit involved, you know what I mean? Like, like we could see things from the surface level, like, he wasn't here. Why wasn't he there? Da 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 da. But they don't know. Like they be thinking like, oh well, you could just battle early and then fly to the show. Like it probably don't work like that. You got to be there like a day before. Got to get a COVID test. You got to do this. You got to do that. For makeup, warm outfits and shit. And you, it just encompasses your whole day. So he probably went with the decision that was best for him was to just go to the Wayne joint. And a lot of us think from the battle rapper perspective, like a battle rapper, battle rapper, battle rapper, battle rapper, battle rapper but. Jag is an artist. He's a, he's a rapper first. So he's definitely looking at it like, yo, I've been doing this shit for years. Like, he was down with Cass, like, from way back. And the Cass thing seems kind of funny because it's like, you know, like it's been mentioned. You don't really see Cass at, and Cass don't be at his battles. Cass don't really support him or endorse him. Cass don't really, like, retweet no fly. He don't do nothing about Jag. And I know they used to roll together. And Jag was there for, like, uh, as many of Cass' joints as I can remember. But he wasn't, he didn't deliver the same love, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think these niggas, <laughs> don't quote me, I think they might have battled on the same card 
and Cass wasn't there for the nigga battle. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the type of it makes you question how much did he really rock with him anyway? You know what I'm saying? And um, but Jag getting a chance to rap for Wayne and to be impressive, memorable. That last bar, that Tyrone Lou bar, it was very memorable. He left an impression. I haven't seen the production or what's gonna come out of it yet. But I, I, you know, that's a good look. Like if he's trying to pick up, like, like you know, how you do the shows where they have like eight people rapped and they pick up four and develop, you know, making in the band type shit. That type of punchline right there that he dropped would definitely get him in in the, in the good graces to try to like be on. But uh, like I said, the more that came out, I would definitely update y'all, and I just did. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the thing. It's like, okay. If he wasn't at the Wayne joint, well, everybody's like, why, why he wasn't there? Why he wasn't there? And now this is being said to be the reason. And the way he was, I think Jag gave Wayne the arse round. <laughs> he said, fuck it. I'm going to take this 50, where he said, ARP paid me five, 300. I'm going to take my $300 deposit. I'm going to see Wayne. I'm going to rap this verse. They're going to crush me. But when they see why they crush me, some niggas is going to, there's going to be a half and half. Like niggas, is, they're going to Arnold Palmer to respect. Some niggas going to fuck with it. Other niggas ain't. But if I get on Wayne, it really don't even matter anyway because these niggas will all be beneath me. Jag got a master plan. <laughs> Jag has a master plan. Getting the rap in front of Wayne is something that people's not going to do every day, though, so I had to bring that highlight for that for y'all, but you already know what it's doing, what it does, so you ain't got to ask what it was. Jack, Jack, I heard you, Tyron Lou, in front of Wayne. Waiting, no, it's gotta be time. And every time I drop a song, it feel like lottery time. I can stress to grab a blunt and then it's pottery time. There's no exceptions while I'm from them, niggas gotta be slob. It's real. Listen, the things know me as the homie with the flow. I'm not impressed with the follows, got to show me with the flow. Niggas think I got the hair and stop falling, nigga, please. I've been walking around feeling like I'm Kobe with the fro. Niggas don't know it. Niggas trying to feed you now. Niggas didn't want you, bet they wouldn't leave you now. Haters coming up like, still, we believe you now. You been snapping like the ankles in the league. You nail, facts. I saw the pound nigga take, that's what you call the line. Down with no upset, I make all these bitches fall in line. I draw more, you keep drawing, then I draw the line. Me and my bitch, I keep the meaning with me all the time. Them late nights, I kept the thing in the drawer. Cleaning up on the block, my mama cleaning the floor. Damn. And I swear I never did it for no recognition. It's all repetition, this game is an exhibition. I'm in the business, like I'm trying to get the next edition. Being strange, I thought we had it with the exhibition. Uh, <laughs> Tyron Lou. <laughs> 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 <la